A former chief whip of the Senate and current South South leader of the Action Democratic Party, that's the ADP, Senator Roland Oway, has stated that the current agitations in the country that are overheating the polity, particularly restructuring, has been taken care of by the 2014 National Comfort. Public Affairs commentator Chuks uh, Nwoko is here with us in the studio for more perspective on this heightened agitation. Many thanks for joining us, Chuks. Thank you for having me. Very well. What do you make of this new dimension? No need for, for the call for another conference or another Georgia or just go straight to what we have for 2014 confirm. Do you subscribe to that? I, I, I do not. What I think is going on is a tradition, basically, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, from 1999 till now, what you have had, every time you have had an election, um, on favored politicians start these agitations. Maybe you are just, we are not just conversant with it, but it's something that I'm very conversant with. Every time we have had election from 1999 till now, from now, just be observant. You start these agitations. You start with um, uh, uh, restructuring. And what do you have? We have moved from restructuring now uh, to uh, ethnic you know, agitation. That's fantastic. That. But really, what, what I read was on, on, on somebody, a, a state no, man, we, prescribing that we should go back to what we have for 2014. We comfort. need to move forward. Yeah. And, and, you know, every time you have these imputes by our elders, the people I call our political ancestors, I always want to respect them. But by saying to them, you know what? You need to give space to a new generation of leaders who are creative in their thinking. We need to move forward. We need to change the dialogue. We need to change the conversation. Nigeria is lagging behind some areas in global attainment and achievement. We have population that is growing. What can we do to help this population to avoid insecurity and all the other challenges that we have? All these political issues is not adding value to us. What we need to do is to jettison what has happened in the past and ask what can we do today politically to galvanize our nation? What I bring to the table as an idea all right. is what I call inclusiveness. Let's stop dividing and let's stop agitating. Let's move forward Good and job. be creative in our thinking. All right. Yeah. Um, two questions I'd ask you. You said let's move forward. What, in your own reasoning, would mean moving forward? Because some people are thinking that they can move forward except they restructure. I listened to this afternoon to an analyst from London, Ogundami, he said that unless and until we have a sovereign national conference, nothing will work because the CONFAB is just a selection of uh, uh, people to settle their boys, like you uh, referred. So those two questions, I, I want you to look at them. Restruct what is restructuring? Who is going to restructure? Who does the constitution in part to restructure? Is it the National Assembly? Is it the president? I do not believe in restructuring. I have found out, like I said to you in my opening remark, that restructuring is, a, is, a, a, is no longer an English term. As far as Nigerian politicians are concerned, it's become a political term used by people who are unfavored. Every time you have an election and their party is not elected and they are not in government and in the corridors of power, once they return home, they start restructuring. When they're in government, they don't remember restructuring. Once they fall out, they start restructuring. They are not ministers, they are not assistant ministers, they are not governors, they are not, they are not in control. They start restructuring. And the idea is to return to their zones and become local champions. And I'm saying to you that we need to change the language. Let's begin to talk about inclusiveness. Let's begin to talk about diversity. That's what people are doing in Europe. What do you mean by that? Because, you, know, you see, the example you have in talk. America, the example you have in America is a very good example. They give lottery to people in different nations to come and live in their place. So you have diversity, you have multiple talents, you have creativity, you have all kinds of things. You think they don't, they don't know what they are doing? You have people, them taking in refugees. Look at Canada, taking in refugees. Germany, at the risk of annihilating and killing their own people, they're taking in people. You think they're idiots? Look, the Modakega and Ife people need to live together. Dumure and Agule people, they need to live together. The guys in Abia need to bring back the civil servant. We are one people. Let's learn how to live together, like we live in Lagos. All right. Have you noticed that we live together in Lagos? Do you, have you noticed that we live in Lagos? As a metropolitan city, Absolutely. of course. So, I mean. It's inclusive. You see, these politicians should not determine for us the direction we should go. They are unemployed. They are not able to create anything. They don't add value to us. They're always looking at the Nigerian state to take from her. Right, I'm sure they will disagree okay, with you let's, anyway. Let's, let, me well, buttress, right, your yeah, let me buttress on the point you're, you're making about inclusiveness and living together. Absolutely. Which other, some agitations have been able to pinpoint to what we have in the constitution 
section 42, subsection 2 to 3 for talking about residing, you're free as a Nigerian to live anywhere you want. Absolutely. But that point doesn't really, some people have said you, you only tolerate people who live in other people's land. Do they have equal right? Do they have equal opportunity? If I live in uh, Calabar, for instance, can I, can I, do I have equal so those right are the to, issues those, on the those table. are the issues. So yeah. I'm just saying, can you, can you situate that really? Absolutely. So you see, you cannot live here on this earth without having issues. Private issues, family issues, communal issues, global issues. The point here is that if we speak those languages, we are still gonna have challenges. Let's deal with the challenges. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let's deal with the challenges. If I live in Lagos here, and my neighbors do not accept, um, accept me, you know, we should preach living togetherness and all that, not dividing, not splitting. Not ethnic uh, champions coming to determine for us what is going on. The noise is so much, and I think that they should pay attention to, to, to how we can move forward by thinking inclusiveness and diversity. That will pay us down. What is restructuring? I don't understand what it means. Bacchanizing the country? How, how, how big are we, really? In real terms, how big are we? That you want to bacchanize and divide and so you go back to your place and you become the chairman of your local government or what, what is this all about? But you know, I have told you something that you need to take away. These guys who talk this, they are not creative. They don't have any work. They should go and work. It's written that the man who does not work should not eat. They should go and work and stop making noise. And allow those Duke Smoko, public and, affairs and, and analyst. To, to rule us. Thank you so right. much you for, having for your me. contribution. Thank you. Thank you. On TVC News uh, today. Oh, fire up, I must say. Thank you.